guard interval in telecommunications guard intervals are used to ensure that distant transmissions do not interfere with one another or otherwise cause overlapping transmissions these transmissions may belong to different users or to the same users the purpose of the guard interval is to introduce immunity to propagation delays, echoes, and reflections, to which digital data is normally very sensitive. In, in OFDM, I mean orthogonal frequency division multiplexion, the beginning of each symbol is preceded by a guard interval. As long as the echoes fall within this interval, they would not affect the receiver's ability to safely decode the actual data, as data is only interpreted outside the guard interval. In tight division multiplexing access, each user's time slot ends with a guard period. To avoid data loss and to reduce interference to the following user caused by propagation delay. Thus, a user's time slot is protected from interference from the preceding he user. By the guard interval at the end of the preceding user's time slot. It is a common misconception that each Time division multiplexing as a time slot begins with a guard interval. However, the ITU technical specifications clearly define the guard period as being at the end of each time slot, thus providing protection against data loss within the time slot and protection against interference to the following time slots. Longer period Longer guard periods allow more distant echoes to be tolerated. However, longer guard intervals reduce the channel efficiency. For example, in DVB-T, four guard intervals are available, given a fraction of a single period. 132, 116, 18, 1 fourth. Hence, 132 gives the lowest protection and the highest data rate, 1 fourth results in the best protection but the lowest data rate. Radio waves propagate at the speed of light, 3 milliseconds per 1,000 meter. Ideally, the guard interval is just longer than the delay spread of the channel. The standard symbol guard interval uses a S02.11 orthogonal frequency division multiplexing is 8 micro microseconds. To increase data rate, A02.11n added optional support for a 0.4 microsecond guard interval. This provides an 11% increase in data rate. The shorter guard interval results in a higher packet error rate when the delay spread of the channel exceeds the guard interval and or if time and synchronization between the transmitter and receiver is not precise. It's not precise. A scheme could be developed to work out whether a short guard interval would be of benefit of a particular length. To reduce complexity, manufacturers typically only implement a short guard interval as a final rate adaptation step when a device is running at its highest data rate. By the time being, thank you very much. This is uh, Netcoms. We'll see you next time in another vi video clip.